Hello there guys, Joppy Noodle Legs here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm just going to do a little rehousing today of one of my new uh, arrivals. Um, the Bracky Palmer Classy, which I got from so many legs. You may have seen the previous video where I got this and the Grammar Style Hangry, which I um, rehoused with the actual unboxing. But I'm just going to do this one separately. Uh, I was going to pop this into a large exoterra plastic uh, enclosure like I normally do but this one does look like it could be a little bit smaller than the one that we received so I'm going to use this one I've not used these ones before this is by Reptazoo uh, it's just a Reptazoo Terranium but it's quite good it's got handles on it which is quite handy <laughs> so I'm going to do like a little setup on this one it's new to me it's got like a little glass door on here which is a little bit stiff but you know it's got that door if you need it for feeding a little bit loud i mean it's quite similar to the uh exoterra breeding boxes except um it's a lot deeper uh the uh the exoterra breeding boxes are about that high so it's got a lot more height on there anyway i'm gonna set this little container up what i'm gonna do guys just take it away and give it a little wash out always wash your new enclosures when you get them uh, just warm water and just give them a nice little wash out so I'm just going to go and do that now okay so I've given it a little wash out giving it good dry paper towels so it's a good size um, the Bracky Palma Classy of course he is the, the Mexican uh, pink beauty I believe is the common name for it uh they do like a dry uh environment again like the gramostola and the brachypalmas they do generally like a more drier sort of environment so i'm just going to be using with this eco earth on this one so i'm just going to fill it up with substrate give it a nice depth so you can borrow if it wants to so should have done all this beforehand but I haven't done this for a while, showing you how I do a little build on the screen, so I just thought I'd do it here. Give that a little pat down. Get in all the corners, guys. Give it a little pat down. Spiders do actually prefer um, the substrate when it's actually patted down rather than just loose and fluffy. I think sometimes they find it a bit uncomfortable to walk on. That's why sometimes you will find them walking up your... Up, up on the sides and stuff like that Not, sometimes it's because of the dampness of the uh, substrate other times it's because of the texture on their feet so this is eco worth i'm using um which is quite a, a good substrate i think that's quite a nice bit there what i'm going to do guys is find a bit of a cork bark again i'm being disorganized nothing ready uh let's have a little look see what i've got here See if there's anything decent that I've got here. It's not too big, not too small. See, this is a nice bit. That's the size of that. Yeah, so what I need to do is break it, break this in half, if I possibly can. Let's have a quick look. There we go. Maybe this one might be a bit better than that one. I'm gonna maybe think of this one, but that's don't know. Excuse me, won't you guys? Let me break this corner off here. There we go. What I'm going to try and do is make it a little... Pop the cork bark there. There we go. Pop some of the substrate on the top. Add more substrate, obviously. Don't be afraid to add more substrate. There we go. Right, for, sorry about that guy, for some bizarre reason, the uh, camera decided to uh, die on me. Uh, let's have a quick think about what I'm going to be doing with the setup of this one. Uh, it could be quite nice like that, to be honest. And I do have a little bit of this sort of plant, which I'm going to maybe sit around like that. 
yeah that looks quite cool but then we can't see the whoops can't see the skull very well let me dig that in and if i pop that around there now that looks quite cool that looks quite nice like that so we're going to do that water bowl i need to decide what i'm going to do i think i'm going to use the um the top i'm just going to pop that in the corner there i don't want too much in here because i just want it to be you know she's got plenty of space to walk around do a few bits a little bit of cork bark there we can just pop that on there something to walk upon that's a nice little setup so let's have a little look as you can see it's got its hide it's got plenty of things to investigate so that's quite a nice size what we're going to do next now guys is uh rehouse a spider right so here we are we're just ready now to put the little spider in his new home just pop a bit of uh, water in this water bowl what i could do guys is add a little bit of crumbled up whoops leaf litter to the enclosure Give it a nice texture, gives it a nice look. Not too much. A little bit of leaf litter in there. Quite nice. There we go. Right, so now we're going to get the, the little fellow in. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. Uh, it is a juvenile, as you can tell, and I'm not sure the size. But we're going to find that out now. Of course. I need to do is just pop that like that that is just if ever you are wonder why I do that is because if I'm getting the spider out and it decides to run for it it can't get out it's just going to go up there but anyway here we go let's open the lid I always try and do this over the enclosure just because we don't know where the spider is until we've actually got it out Okay, what we're going to do now guys, just very gently lift up the, normally the top, oh it's all in there, there we go, very nice, I do like it when that happens and I can lift the whole tissue out, now I've got a little sling pot, so here we go, need to find the opening of the tissue, And try and oh here comes the spider. See him moving, or she, or he. Here we go. Hello there, little one. You had a big journey. Hey, you had a big journey. Hey, aren't you beautiful? Aren't you beautiful? Yeah, you go on to there. Go on to your dinosaur skull. You're a lucky little thing having that. Wow, what a beautiful little spider. If I can quickly, guys, bring you down so you can have a quick look. What a beautiful little spider. That's the Brachypelma Classy. Already enjoying the uh, T-Rex skull. What a beautiful spider. I think I unboxed that well. I think it was uh, very safe and nicely done. Very gentle. Always, always, always be gentle with your spiders, guys. Okay. Please be gentle with them. They're very delicate. Beautiful. It says a juvenile. We don't know the sex. But all we know is that it's an amazing spider. I do like the brachypalmas. Uh... So I'm really glad to have one in my collection. Well, not one, because I do have one already. The Brachypelma Alpiceps, which I got from Mark the Spider Guy and Peter Webster. But this is my 
second one to the collection. What a beautiful spider. Well, she looks quite settled there in her new home. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank Andy from So Many Legs for sending this amazing spider. Absolutely awesome to have it in my collection. I've been looking to get one, uh, but they were quite sparse over the last uh, few months. I've not seen any available, but lately there's been a few coming up. So obviously there's been a, uh, a breeder that's had a nice batch and our, our sellers have managed to buy them and snap them up. And we managed to get hold of one. I got this for a really good price for Mandy. Um, so check out So Many Legs if you can. Got a little bit of a a board bottom there, just there. Now it doesn't necessarily mean it's been kicking them. It could also be a sign of pre molt, because uh, when they do a lot of these spiders go into pre molt, they will kick their hairs off. Obviously, because it when they're molting, they don't want all those hairs there, so it makes it probably easier to actually get that off. But uh, she looks in beautiful shape. He's about. Oh, I'd say inch and a half to two inches in size. So she's a nice little size. I'm going to let her settle in and give her a day or two to settle in before attempting to feed her. Now, she's quite small. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I need some sort of small food for her. I do have some small red runners and I do have some wax worms. But I want to get hold of some smaller sort of locusts. And I'm sure she could quite easily take down a small to medium sized locust um, so I'm going to get some of those on order by the time they arrive in probably about two days she'll be ready to feed I'd like to thank you all guys for watching the video I'd like to give a special shout out to you know the, the usuals uh, Mark the Spider Guy, Peter Webster Unusual um, Pets Reptile Innovations Tarantula Tastic Enclosures Got inverts, incredible creatures and other animals, uh, incredible inverts and other animals even. T in the deep blue sea. Phil, you need to change your name to your channel, mate. It's so much of a mouthful, buddy. Uh, so um, yeah, but check their channels out. Spider Mum 1978. Got to check her channel out. Absolutely fantastic. So please make sure you check out Spider Mum. I forgot to mention her in the last video. That's because I get so many. I watch so many channels I just forget to mention some people sometimes and I do apologize but you're all wonderful and I do like to watch all your channels and I recommend everybody to go and check their channels out yeah spider-man 1978 awesome awesome channel lots of uh, great videos lots of shorts and care videos check out Dave's little beasties yeah, his channel is absolutely fantastic Tom Moran's Tom's big spiders Richard's, um, Stuart's, Transfer Collective, all fantastic channels, guys. So please make sure you check them all out when you can. Uh, and that's it, guys. What I'm going to do is just let, let this little guy settle in. He's sitting quite happy there on its um, T Rex skull, which I think looks pretty cool in that enclosure. Seems quite content on that, doesn't it? That would make a nice photograph, that. Maybe try and grab a photograph before uh, it decides to run off. But that's its enclosure. Nice little water bowl there. It's a dry substrate. It's got a hide, a bit of leaf litter, a bit of fake plant, a nice skull, and a nice spider. And these, uh, this enclosure I bought from a site called Aquapet, which I really recommend you check out sometime because they do some quite nice enclosures at reasonable prices. I picked this up for eleven pound, and it's really really cool. I mean, look at the look at the lid. It's got handles on it, so if you want to carry it around, move it about, it's quite cool. Normally, <laughs> I've normally slammed the lid on by now, haven't I, on this enclosures? But this little baby seems quite content sat there, so uh, that's cool. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for checking in again on one of my videos. Not one minute of your time is taken for granted. And I, I really respect you all. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, whatever you're doing.
and I really hope to see you soon.